When you're out on the water in your kayak, it's not always convenient to paddle, especially if you want to fish hands-free or relax for the afternoon. And that's where these little compact, uh, dedicated canoe and kayak electric motors come into play. This is an 18 pound model. Uh, they also come in a 24 pound model. They're quite light, uh, quite compact. This guy weighs 2.2 kilos. It's a 61 centimeter shaft length. They're quite a small and compact unit. Has a couple of nifty features. This tiller arm is actually telescopic. Uh, you pull this little mechanism here and the tiller extends, quite neat. Uh, it also has an on off position, uh, forward, on and reverse and then it has two power settings, a slower speed and a higher speed. Uh, quite simple to attach to your canoe or kayak, it has a little clamp, you just tighten these uh, clamps here and attach it to your power source via a couple of alligator clips. Very simple, very straightforward, nice and convenient, opens up a whole lot of opportunities, especially if you want to troll or fish hands free in your canoe or kayak. So now we'll go ahead and attach this outboard to the kayak. And speaking of kayaks, this is an interesting model. This is the uh, Freedom Hawk 12. It has a couple of these stabilizing pontoons on the back. And the interesting thing about these pontoons is you, know, you can retract them when you're traveling to minimize resistance, or you can easily extend them when you want to stand up. And these pontoons, when fully extended, give the kayak a lot of lateral stability. And coupled with this lean post, uh, you can actually stand up and fish quite comfortably. Quite a, quite a neat and nifty little model. So to attach the engine to the back of the kayak is relatively straightforward. These kayaks have uh, an outboard mounting bracket on the back. And it's just a simple matter of uh, positioning the, uh, the clamp over the back of the bracket and ensuring that you do these clamps up nice and tight. It's very important to do them up firmly because if you're traveling, uh, you don't want the engine to slip or slide or even, you know, worst case, fall in the water. Um, and it could destabilize the, uh, the kayak and, uh, and then cause you quite a few issues. So we do these up nice and firmly. Um, and the benefit of having a small dedicated motor for a kayak uh, is that they're, you know, you know, reasonably strong thrust, but not, not, not overpowering. Um, and you can use a small uh, battery that you know, keeps the whole package nice, lightweight and compact. Uh, so it's just a matter of grabbing these alligator clips, attaching positive to positive, negative to negative, and you're pretty much ready to go. Uh, switch the engine on and uh, you know, provides uh, smooth, effortless power. What we'll do now is we'll just put the kayak in the water and just show you uh, operation of the kayak and operation of the engine a little further. So now we're in the kayak. The pontoons are attracted and you can see that we lose a little stability. It's very easy to gain that stability by extending the pontoons on the kayak. Now the kayak becomes quite laterally stable. I can easily stand up, I can grab a rod, and I can fish hands-free. Very easy, very simple, very straightforward. And grab onto the lean post, uh, it makes it quite, uh, quite easy to, uh, to manage. Very simple now to just switch our electric motor on. And power away, very, uh, very effortless uh, operation. And now we're motoring. I'm, uh, I think my job's done here. I'm gonna go fishing. <laughs> <laughs>